like classical music. I like to read comics. I also like to go to school. Something that I know a lot about and want to tell you about is sensory processing disorder. SPD is when the messages that your brain gets from your senses are not organized, so you don't respond to things like most people do. This makes it hard to do everyday life stuff, like getting ready for the day, going to school, eating, and playing. You can have SPD by itself, or you can have it with other things, like autism. I have autism and SPD. Everyone has seven sensory systems. They are sound, taste, smell, vision, touch, proprioceptive, and vestibular. Under-responsive versus over-responsive. You can think of each your sensory systems as being a cup, and water is that type of a sensory input. If you are under-responsive to a certain sensory input, it is like you're a big, huge cup. You keep getting water to the big cup. You can just keep adding and adding, but it never feels full. But If you are over-responsive, it is like you are a tiny cup. All you need is just a little sensory input, and you overflow. You want your cup to be full and not spill over. Each of your sensory systems is their own cup, and they are different sizes. Just because you have one big cup does not mean you are under-responsive with all your senses. I have a big cup for my proprioceptive and vestibular senses, and a little cup for my touch, sound, taste, and smell senses. Everyone is a different and unique. Some days and times of days are good, and some are too much for me. I don't like loud and busy places. I cover my ears and want to run away or yell and tell everyone to be quiet. I need less noise to feel in control of my body. I like to always be moving. I have a hard time holding still. I don't like people to touch my skin sometimes. But everyone is different. My brother doesn't mind if people touch him, and he does not need to wear sunglasses. It is important to know your own body and to understand your body and your seven senses. Sound. Get the sense of sound through our ears.、Uh, when the sound is loud, I can't concentrate of anything except stopping the loud noises. I have a really hard time when my mom's turn on the vacuum or blender. Classical music makes me feel relaxed. I like jazz too. It's nearly the same thing. Taste and smell. When we eat or put things in our mouth, we use our chemical senses, taste and smell. Every time you eat, you use these senses. Vision. Our eyes are how we use our sense of vision. Some people like bright lights and lots of things to look at. I get distracted if there's too much to look at. I like. Think soft colors and organized. When I walk outside, the sun is always so bright that it hurts my eyes and I can't look up. I wear my sunglasses when I'm outside to help. Touch. Some people don't like to be touched, and I don't like my hands to be messy.、It、makes me feel bad. Touch is your tactile sense, and if you are not. Used to having things touching your skin, it can make you feel uncomfortable sometimes.、Uh, certain clothes, tags, and shoes can really feel not right for an opinion. Before most people, their brain gets used to that uncomfortable clothes. But for me, I just can't think of anything else but the tag that is bothering me. I will tuck it in and want to take it off the whole time I'm wearing it.
We are trying to teach my hands that it is okay for them to be messy for a little while. The more I can play with things that are a little messy, the more I get used to it, and my brain learns not to focus on it as much. Proprioceptive. You can think of proprioception as your body awareness. You get proprioceptive input every time you get input through your muscles and joints. It sends a message to your brain that says, "This is where I am, and this is what I'm doing." You get proprioceptive input to help you do everything your body wants to do, like pushing yourself. On a scooter board, carrying something heavy, or even getting dressed. By doing more with your body, you can get more proprioceptive input. This helps me feel better. When I feel like my body is out of control, I like to jump, scooter board, or getting wrapped up tight in a blanket. Proprioceptive input helps me to calm down and organize my body. Vestibular. Your vestibular sense is super complicated, but super cool. We all have something in our inner ear that tells the brain whether we are balanced and whether we are moving. It tells our brain whether I am right side up, upside down, moving forward or moving backward. It is what it tells us that we are dizzy and better stop spinning. If our brain is under responsive to vestibular input, then our body wants to constantly move and spin, and we and we never get dizzy. If your brain is too responsive to vestibular input, then you feel off balance. It makes it scary to do activities where you have to tilt your head back or your feet are not flat on the ground. Our vestibular sense is very important to help us do everything we need to throughout the day. To figure out what your needs are it helps to go and work with an occupational therapist. I have two of those: one here and one at school. I go to OT one time a week. Katie and me and my mom gets to do fun things together when we go. When I leave, my body feels better. It feels like I am in control. We work out our muscles and our brains. Katie and my mom like to talk about things for us to try at home and school. If you have a hard time with your sensory input, there are a lot of things you can do to make it better. There are activities to help your brain learn how to respond differently to sensory input. You can help your body feel calm and, and, and in control by getting the sensory input you need throughout the day. Your parents, teachers, and occupational therapist can help. To learn more about sensory processing, check out these websites.